What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a six month review on the Trek Remedy 9.8. One of the main reasons why I got this bike is it has the modern geometry. It's my old bike, the Giant Rain. It was just outdated, slow, did not feel good. And this also boasts 27 and a half inch wheels that really helped me rip on the downhill versus the 26 inch wheels on my Giant. This bike's got some great parts on it. Starting up here at the front, we got 820 mil Bond Traeger bars. These are probably one of the best bars I've ever felt. They really allow you to handle the trail really well. And they're also accompanied by Code R brakes, which really allow you to get you the stopping power that you need to ride down those sick lines. This bike boasts one of the best forks in the whole entire industry, the Fox 38. This thing absolutely smashes through downhill and you can really notice the stiffness that it offers. Compared to these amazing Bond Traeger hoops, the Minion DHF tire. These tires are probably one of the best I've ever ridden. They really allow you to grip the trail, feel it out. It's really nice all the way down the trail. Everything about these tires is just a plus. Beforehand, I had the Bond Traeger SC5s. Those were also really good tires, but I decided to upgrade to these Maxxis tires. This bike comes equipped with the Fox Flow X. This is probably one of the best shocks I've ever felt. Has 12 speeds of rebound and two adjustments for compression. One firm allowing you to rip up the mountain, one soft for allowing you to rip down. Now we're stepping back up here to the dropper post. This dropper is just a standard 150 mm bond trigger dropper. And moving down to the cranks, we got SRAM GX. These things are the strongest, most lightweight aluminum cranks in the whole entire industry. This bike is equipped with SRAM GX Eagle for the drivetrain. Everything about it is just amazing, really lightweight, durable, and allows you to get all the range of gears that you need. The pros about this bike have got to be the weight. It comes in at just over 30 pounds, which is super nice and light for this type of bike. Even though it has a big downhill oriented fork and shock, allowing you to get a lot of travel, but at a lightweight cost. Another pro I have about this bike it's got to be the coring. Some of the best coring I've ever felt on a mountain bike. Really allows you to throw it through the corners and also super nimble due to the 27 and a half inch wheels. Another pro I have on this bike is the full carbon that it offers. It really allows you to feel that responsiveness that you need and allows you to be super stable going downhill. The only con that I have about this bike has got to be the availability. Due to COVID, Trek got really backed up on the Trek Remedy line, which pushed everything back. Even took me a little while to get this bike. Got the last one, unfortunately, but it also jacked up the price a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go like, subscribe, do all that good shenanigans. Thank you for 700 subscribers. 